Hi guys, I'm back here yet again with another video. This PV uh, Gigabyte RX 6600 Eagle, 8 Gigabyte, runs at PCIe Gen 4 and uses 8 lanes. I got it for 75 Singapore dollars. And as for this guy, the Pilex RTX 3060 Stormax 12 Gigabyte, it looks, you know, deceivingly weak with just one fan. Uh, but I bet it works just fine for this budget level GPU. And hope be perfect uh, for compact builds. I got this for 80 bucks. This runs also at PCIe Gen 4 and uses 16 lanes. Take note that the MSR priests as such, both cards go for about 445 Singapore dollars or 329 US dollars. In the real world, however, the RX 6600 is almost always slightly cheaper than the RTX 3060, just like the prices I got. I guess the video is still the one to attract more gamers. By the way, if you're still hanging around, to be generous, throw me a like, subscribe if you haven't. Today we're going to find out how these cards fare on a PCIe Gen 3 system, or at least from community feedback, currently there's no video card that can fully saturate all the PCIe lanes, even the RTX 3090 itself. We also want to find out which is the better buy of these cards. The test system we're using today was the PC from my last video, which I'll show right now. Obviously, we're going to stick with 1080p high settings, which is what these cards are meant for, and use FSR or DSS whenever possible, taking advantage of the AI upstaling technology. Obviously, we're still going to stick with 1080p high settings, which is what these guys are meant for, and use FSR or DSS whenever possible, taking advantage of the AI upscaling technology there. How we're explaining this is that you may run the game at perhaps 720p, and using AI, the resolution is upscaled to 1080p, making it way easier to run. Before taking a look at our gaming benchmarks, I would just like to say that AMD's FSR is great and could be used even on Nvidia's cards, but for the sake of benchmarking, I will only be using FSR on AMD cards and DLSS on Nvidia cards. I'm going to throw in our benchmark numbers. Based on our test, FSR and DLSS are comparable. However, in Icarus, FSR looks really awful. I guess this really boils down to each game's recommendation of technology, so be sure to check out specific game tests if you're hard about using FSR or DSS for a particular title. It's also noteworthy that for games not having FSR, the RTX 3060 raises fast RX 3600, and only when DSS is available, just with a point number for example, we're getting almost double the average frame rate, which is insane. Do remember that FSR can be used on all Nvidia cards. In that scenario, I'm without a doubt that this RTX 3060 would most definitely smoke the RX 3600. With all that out of the way, my take on this matter, if you're a competitive gamer, with the benchmarks out of the way, my take on this is that if you're a competitive gamer, do yourself a favor and get the RTX 3060, even though it's slightly more expensive at current market rates, it will most definitely also work better for streaming as well due to the NVAC encoder. However, if you're more of a casual gamer, you're on a budget, you don't really care about streaming, and are satisfied with getting a steady 60 FPS at 1080p, go for this guy, the RX 6600, and save a bit of money there. Alright guys, that's it for this one. For upcoming videos, we'll go to even more budget GPUs, and explore whether they're viable if you're on older hardware. Think DJ3 systems, the Intel 3rd or 4th gen. As always, this is Clarence from Asian Tech Guide, checking out. Catch you guys in the next one.